take a look at it, but they know about these mud floods. They know they come ever so often. They know there's a great reset. They know that uh, populations dwindle. And that is why that's what brings us to Tartaria. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Tartaria. <laughs> the lost empire of Tartaria, covered up by mud floods. That's the thing. You know, they, they told us there was these world's fairs. They had all this technology. Um, if, if you go back and look at what they were running at some of these world's fairs, look at this. They were saying that Westinghouse was just coming up with this, but these things were already in place. They said they put these buildings together in breakneck record time. Like in several weeks or something, they got all this together supposedly and wired it all up. And did you know that when someone hit the switch on this thing and powered it up, it ended up actually turning this whole city on? There is infrastructure built for so many, um, I mean, for the most bizarre things, like um, um, I don't know. Um, you, you can go in. There's like the oldest things, like the Sky Train. I mean, if you go back in time and you take a look at look at this Sky Train now. Now there's people with horse and buggy here, okay? But yeah, they got this ultra advanced. Sky train, look at this. There's a horse and buggy down there. This is, they're actually operating this. This stuff has been around there for a long time. Now, history will tell us they've made up lots of stories about this type of technology, this an antiquitech that they had back then during the uh, Tartarian Empire. And if you watch this thing, I mean, this is literally like a modern day monorail they don't even have stuff like this today just look at this uh infrastructure that this thing is built with all of the stuff in tartaria operated off of the ether operated off of free power uh bricks uh, um store power like capacitors the way they did their architecture and if if we take a look at what's going on today in america we see just junk we see how things are built with brutalism it's the architecture that they use in America is literally called brutalism. It's the terminology that they use for the type of buildings they, they build, like these um, office complexes and these strip malls and um, these uh, HUD housing and the projects. And we look at all the homes and dwellings nowadays, and they're just they're built with no care. There's just no care um, built in them like we look at this singer building in new york and this thing had all these elevators all this technology wiring all sorts of stuff and they demoed this in the mid 1900s um they tried to hide this they've been tearing down all the tartarian architecture from the tartarian empire they'll they'll tell you when this thing was built and they'll make up lies about it <coughs> excuse me but um, they'll make up all sorts of lies about the um, architecture of this thing, of all these buildings. So that right there is the Singer building. Um, you know, uh, a good example of this now is um, we we did talk about the World's Fair um uh and and how the world's fair served as a vast cover-up because if you go in and you really take a look at some of these um world's fair exhibits and and what they're really um displaying at some of these exhibits um it's amazing so you know you can do your own research on that but uh the world's fair thing is very fascinating we might talk about that here a little bit more and um we showed the singer building that 
that is um that's a that's a piece of architecture right there they can't build they can't build buildings like 